but his car broke down right down the road, so taking an Uber down to meet him. I guess he has his friend coming to fix the car on the side of the road. <laughs> All right, I'll pick this back up when we get to him. What happened? Slam, boy. <laughs> What's up, Luke? G'day, guys. <laughs> Go and say welcome to Australia because you've been here for a couple of days. I've been here for a couple of days. Yeah. It is way nicer up here. It always is. I was freezing yeah. my ass off. Terrible winter and I'm here. You're a, why I'm are you still wearing a hoodie? I'm sweating. <laughs> um, um, so I came to pick you up. Yeah. And luckily, I ran into mischief just doing a U turn. <laughs> yeah, this isn't on air, right? <laughs> this Even though it might look like it currently. Yeah, so we've had a. Uh, Chose the next things, you know. <laughs> Got the pit crew out here. I'm like, do you have a tow truck that is. The whole like, barbecue showed up. So, uh, Frosty's turned up with his bagged BMW. Yeah, I didn't show that either, but I didn't think it's sick. Like LCAs are out. Yeah. They've gone and made friends with a guy over there and they're using his grinder to notch it out. And then we're going over to this warehouse over here and the welder's in the back of the BMW. <laughs> it's always something here. This is what makes it interesting though. Look at him, he's got his gas bottle and everything. It's freaking set up. <laughs> They are currently welding the control arm at the airport. And I'm pretty sure this is at like an airport warehouse. Yeah, it is. It's like a shipping hole. Yeah, it's a shipping place. I've lent them an extension lead. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. Federal police have come and told us to hurry up because we're in the middle of the road at the airport. Yeah, so I was there. I like, I hear so many horror stories unlike Australian cops and I was like oh Shannon's gonna butter these dudes up and they'll be like oh, I'll get you a pass for the nightclub or something you can come we hang out with yeah. us how to come out frosty let me see no helmet no gloves wow no looks pretty squint. good and you got a you got little little gussets on it <laughs> so redneck redneck in the middle <laughs> <laughs> That's a good move, Luke. Oh. All right, skin dogs in the car. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, back on the road. We're going to Mr. Luke's house now. Yep, and we'll go get the uh, we're gonna gonna get, get the Raptor. We're gonna go get the Raptor now. Luke and T set up a 4th of July party on the 8th of July here in Brisbane. They knew I missed the 4th of July, so they put a little party together with some hot dogs and hamburgers. So we're all just hanging out here. It's a good day. I got three hours of sleep last night, but it's good to see all the Archie boys again. And Luke's here, so some crazy shit will end up happening at some point. I already know that. All right, let's drink some beer and some CCs. What'd you make? It's guac, like salsa, and then it's uh, salami and cheese. It's Looks American delicious. Guac. So they started building the jump a little bit bigger for the pit bikes with a shovel. Two seconds later, the skid steer comes out. Try it. Try it. Try it. He only brought out a little one. This is the Australian 4th of July. Okay, let's get that out. Who has that one? Here's the little one. Here's the little one. Here's the little one. I love Australia.
So they have the Bobcat pushing on the wheel. That's one way to do it. Why not? The bobcat on the front wheel. That's the only way. It kept pushing. <laughs> hey, Luke. What's going on here? Uh, my wife is in a VAU and got to do a burnout. Last time she did a burnout, she blew up my falcon. Come on. This is the continuation of last night's burnout festival. Well, we had to go home early because someone in Luca was tired. I was so tired. Yeah, but that's fine. We saw a bunch of Mexican Hoon cartel people around. I know. I didn't even pull the camera out for that. And saw them all and doing donuts, skids yeah. in the middle of the road and everything. All right, we're going to go get food. So we get to breakfast and some Midnight Purple 33 GTR sitting in the parking lot. I wish America was like this. Damn, that thing is sick. Uh, maybe one day America will be cool and just have 33 GTRs sitting in parking lots at breakfast spots. <laughs> they said it makes 1,100 horsepower, yeah. and it's on ethanol. This thing is unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. That's why I'm that's why I'm filming. <laughs> this is ridiculous. How good does it look? Oh my god. Yeah. And we were waiting for the food, so I walked outside to that GTR, which we spotted it. It was a nice studio. Yeah. And it's like clean. I didn't you spotted that headlight. I was like, something's going on underneath there. That thing was insane. Just 1100 horsepower. Not a big deal. Sequential street car. <laughs> All right, I'll put this down. I am starving. Let's go. Everybody is tired. You're doing okay, actually. I'm surprised. I had a good sleep. What? Remember last time when you came over and I. I know. He's an animal. He's an absolute animal. We're gonna go go karting immediately, but I think we're going back and hanging out for a little bit. Have a little rest. Cerveza's beer. No, then what's the thing you have? Siesta. Siesta. Let's go have a siesta. Siesta. Perfect siesta time. Also, thank you guys for the support in the last few videos. It makes it a lot easier to spend extra time editing when you guys enjoy it. So I really do appreciate it. You ready, Luke? Have they seen the new car? Uh, probably I'm, right yeah no, i'm this... definitely that video like tomorrow okay yeah yeah, yeah. they've definitely the day after. they've definitely seen the new car then yeah car is absolutely freaking beautiful it sounds insane this was a good purchase luke this, is a hell of a good purchase. this was a really good purchase so like i said we're gonna hop in go to frosty's I'll pick this back up shortly so i use google translate for the past 10 minutes Figured out how to Not get even. Five. Yeah, five minutes. Okay, yeah, five minutes. Figured out how to get Luke's phone connected to the Japanese Bluetooth, which you would think you would just go to Bluetooth settings, no. but you actually had to go into the navigation settings I on this. How did you think about it? It said I something think? about navigation, but it doesn't make any logical sense. It said to, one thing about navigation, and it I was doesn't like, make sense. I know. And I said one thing about navigation, and I'm like, you know what, let me go look in the navigation thing. I went through about 35 different things to get to it, but we figured it out, so it's my my win of the day. I nice, seriously <laughs> That was sick. That was so good. Saved me like 500 bucks. behind one just before. So what is this thing? 
It's a, what is it, a BFU? Yeah, BF Mark II. Yeah, like turbo. Manual. Factory Barra Turbo. Yeah. yeah. Manual? Ah, uh, it's auto. Auto? Okay. Yeah, what year is it? Ah, uh, it's know? 06. Yeah, I see. And it's factory turbo Barra. So my ignorant ass only, I only found out like this past trip that Barra's came factory turbo. I thought they were all NA. Oh no. Yeah. yeah you got plenty of turbo stuff. This thing looks sick. I still can't believe how massive these engines are. It's like, looks like a diesel Cummins engine. So this is a dead, so you're gonna get to drive a dead stock automatic one yeah. to experience it. Just had the rear muffler cut off. I don't like, this happened to me last night. I don't like doing this because then I'm gonna want one. I drove an A86 last one. night. Yeah, this is for sale. Oh, of course it is for sale. <laughs> of course it's for sale. All right, we're gonna go take this thing down the road. I'm pumped, it's super cool. I'm not a Ford guy, but look at this unit. This is the true Australian experience driving a U. Oh, I think Barra U. A Barra U. This thing is cool. You drove an SS U one time. I did. Flanos. Yeah, so I drove, I'm sure you guys remember, I drove Flanos SS U. Millennium Jade. Yeah, SSU. with the work wheels on it and everything at Luke's track when I was here a couple months ago. But now I get to drive a street car. Let's see how this thing is. Because I think you pushed it into first. Jeez, this thing rips. <laughs> this thing is sick. Oh, God. We're lucky we didn't get these in America. People would get in a lot more trouble. We had it in manual. We're going to just leave it in performance mode, see if it's any better. So do you guys have FPV in the States? I don't this know what that is. Full of performance vehicles. Mm, Go on. No. Feed it. Alright, second Feed gear. Feed it, <laughs> How good is that for a stock it's car? It's so good, dude. And it sounds amazing. But it does, it really freight trains. You can tell, like, you put even, like, an extra five pound of boost and in this thing. And it would be a, a weapon. And you'd just be peeling the tires Oh, off. yeah. <laughs> what a treat this was. This thing was so damn cool to drive. I, I'm really getting the full Australian experience now, getting to drive a, a turbo bear you thank you that's cool parmy time parmy at a full-blown country pub i'm so excited i've wanted a parmy since i got to australia and i have yet to have one so this, this place has a lot of character too it's really cool oh, i can't wait pick it back up when we get to lunch bye this guy is doing a parmy <laughs> with an american beer <laughs> What's gonna happen to your beer? You're missing home, mate. I don't know. Yeah. So I found a PBR. It's the first time I've seen one when I since make, I've been in Australia. It might make the palmy taste bad. No. Yeah, maybe. What do you need? A CC or a VB? Definitely CC. <laughs> we are heading to Jason's house, which we we're gonna be rednecks at. Yeah, I can't wait. We're gonna be true bogans. This is where we were the first night where T and Luke threw me a Fourth of July party. He wanted to show me what they do in their they call it the paddock, but. We didn't have the chance to, so we're going back there right now so we can do it. I'm super excited. So we got back to Jason's house and he's got this gangster. Is that AU, correct? Yeah. AU Falcon. We're gonna go burn up the front yard in it. Typical Australian. Something's leaking, maybe. Oh, I just washed it. Perfect. So you'll see these idiots. <laughs> pounds or something, right? Something like that. Massive. Is that frosty? Yeah. How fun is this? So it's what you do in your front yard, right? <laughs> <laughs> Get a new one. AU Falcon paddock bashing time, right? So you, what you call it? Yeah. You want to ride with me? No. Okay. I'm a terrible passenger. Hip <laughs> cap. Put it in first. Here, you want to hold that? Yeah. Just put, put it, it straight in into first. 
I'll come out into the middle. Is that a D-bead? Is that a D-bead? He immediately breaks it. All right, we D-beaded a tire, so fill it back up. Going for number two this time. All right, we're back in it. We have the bungee cord first gear lockout. I'm gonna try to do this holding the camera. Let's see how we go. my shoe <laughs> I had well I had my foot because I couldn't hold on with both hands I had my foot shoved in between the dead pedal and the firewall oh that was so good <laughs> this is ridiculous AU Falcon paddock skids was a success Thank you so much, dude. That was a freaking Give me a blast. Welcome, so much buddy. fun, man. Anytime. I'm going to your homeland in two days, so go see all the Kiwis. It'll oh, be good. Watch out, Bert. <laughs> in trouble. Get cold. He said, watch out, bro. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That was so fun. I really appreciate it. Also, Frosty, uh, the dude that does all the fabrication work on Luke's car, gave me a Queensland motorcycle plate. Yep. Which is super rad. I'm going to put it up. In the garage next to the Queensland plate. All right, we're gonna go back, hang at the house for the rest of the day. We gotta start packing up because I leave tomorrow for. Oh, I'll often do. We got plenty. Of time. I know. There'll be more shenanigans. There'll be more shenanigans. <laughs> Probably, maybe. Oh, all right. Thanks again, Luke. Thanks for making this always a blast. It's always so fun. I'll leave Luke's channel down below. He definitely got some GoPro footage of me in the AU. So go check out his channel. He posts pretty much every day, right? Oh, when for I'm the not, most when part. I'm not being lazy. Yes. So. Go give him a follow. Post awesome shit. He's always doing wild stuff in Australia. So, link down below. Everywhere. <laughs> Every, yeah, Everywhere. Yeah, I guess. We're going to be in be... Ireland together in yeah. like a week, literally. It's so funny. Do you get there Wednesday or Thursday? Uh, Wednesday. Thursday morning I'll get there at 7 Wednesday, a.m. But we're literally going to see each other in a week's time in Ireland. It's so funny. So, I saw Squid in Japan, and now I'm going to see Squid in New Zealand. Yeah. I've seen you in Australia, and then now I'll see you in uh, Ireland. Ireland. Yeah. So and good. then I'm sure I'll see you not long after that. Yeah. In the States when we're there. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you're coming over pretty year. much not. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So all right, pick this back up shortly. It is our last day here in Brisbane in the nice, warm, beautiful weather. And now we are off to New Zealand for the Drift Mat Surrey and competition they have this weekend. I'm beyond excited, but it's gonna be freezing, so I'm glad I brought some warm clothes with me. Just hanging out at Luke's here. Freaking awesome backyard and he's about to take me to the airport and we'll be in new zealand before you know it getting tired man it's for the better this has been a blast so far it's just oh it's been a lot all right look we're out of here well i'm out of here good riddance what <laughs> the fuck thank you again for all of your hospitality is you're the best dude i always have so much fun when i come uh, here i always love having you yeah it's a good one it's definitely a good one it was nice to relax we're just pulling up to the airport and I will see you in two weeks? A week? Dude, week and a half. Literally week and a, a week and one day. A week and one day. <laughs> and, uh, so weird. Yeah, On the other side of the world. If you survive the big freeze of New Zealand. I know, I might tur turn into a popsicle. I don't even know why I'm wearing a hoodie, do you? It's super warm here. <laughs> it's going to be very chilly in New Zealand. But have fun. Thanks, mate. Um, Love you, dog. I appreciate you. Thank you again for everything. Absolutely. I, and uh, then after, after Ireland, we'll see each other in the States again not long after, so. That's why I love drifting. Yeah. Let me grab my stuff. Yeah. See you in a week. Absolutely. Later.